What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC here. So today, before I get started, big shout out to John Smith. He's the one that mentioned about Arma coming out with some vehicles and I did a little bit more research. And um, also my buddy JTRC, he's kind of my mentor for the YouTube channel and also just a great friend as well. So if you don't follow him on YouTube, go ahead and check him out. You'll want to follow him as well. He does a lot of stuff with Arma as well. Awesome dude. So anyway, let's get started into what we've been seeing on, from Arma. and uh, Or if you haven't seen it and that's why you're looking at my channel now. Here's one of the shots. Now these look like... As far as I'm not going to play the videos, I'm going to keep it still just because I don't want any kind of copyright issues or anything like that of me playing their videos. But I'm just taking a screenshot and that's why you saw them in, on the uh, actual thumbnails. Just so I could kind of get an idea what these are. Like this one here, on-road looking car. Both of them look to be on-road if we just kind of flip over to the other one as well. Both on-road. As far as scales, I'm assuming it seems like Arma has not gone any further in the bigger scale than a 1.8 scale. It would be nice because I actually, when uh, John Smith had mentioned about Arma coming out with some new vehicles, we didn't even know what was going to be coming out yet. But I first thing that came to mind was I hope they come out with like a one fifth or one sixth scale truck to kind of give that competition to the X Max from Traxxas. That'd have been cool because we know Arma tough, and it would be cool just to see those. But anyway, nonetheless, we got these vehicles. They look really cool. I like the on-road stuff. Anyhow, this definitely has that. doesn't look like it's going to be anything that you'd want to take too much off-road, but I could be wrong on that one. But just the way the actual uh, body is sitting pretty low to the ground, that both these vehicles are going to be for speed. Obviously, they're both in going fast, and they're blurring them, what have you. I try to do the uh, resolution as high as possible, but obviously they've blurred it for the reason of not being able to see everything in detail. But both look cool. And, you know, maybe they're, I don't know if they're going to be one, one eighth scale or one tenth scale, but assuming they're probably one eighth scale as far as these vehicles go. And price points, you know, obviously we don't know anything until tomorrow. So one more day, that's all we got to wait. And hopefully that'll be cool. You know, we'll find out. Now, as far as like this wing and everything, I don't really want to get a long video. So you guys definitely leave the comments down below what you think about as far as the wing. So obviously this is not going to be a vehicle that you're going to be bashing with because this wing looks like it's going to, it would break pretty easy. We can see some like, anyway, there's a lot of stuff you can kind of break it down and everything like that. Um, but the wing and everything like that. So we know both these are for speed any, anyhow. But anyway, uh, that's going to be it for right now. Don't want to make this a long video. So... Appreciate you guys watching as always. Also, check out omgrc.com for all your hobby goodness. Unfortunately, we don't carry Arma, so I just want to kind of throw that out there. As of yet, we do not carry Arma or Traxxas. We're not sponsored or anything like that, so no affiliation with them. But they're cool cars, cool manufacturers nonetheless. And I figured I'd give you guys some insight on that just because, you know, showing a, showing you what, you know, everything else that's out there besides just what I sell. Anyway, um... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think about these vehicles. Anyhow, until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care, and thank you for watching.